Hi. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, AEW and the idea of them having a cruiserweight division. Now, when you look at cruiserweight divisions, like in AEW or in other promotions that you have out there, um, I think New Japan Pro Wrestling might have a cruiserweight division or belt. Um, I find that there's there, there's two elements to having a cruiserweight belt. Number one is, is it just a belt that anybody can go for? Or is it like a belt, but its own division, you know what I mean? With its own guys. And uh, there's two big distinguishing factors between those two things. I think that if you just, if it's just a belt, it doesn't matter. Like anybody, it's just another heavyweight championship with a different name. Basically, it's all it is. And it's not considered as good for some reason because of its name. Uh, but then there's having a cruiserweight division with its own championship. See, that is the route I think AEW should go to or take. That's the approach they should take that we're going to be talking about here. AEW having a cruiserweight division with its own championship. Different than AEW having a cruiserweight belt. Now in the cruiserweight division, uh, if they came to me and said, make a cruiserweight division, we'll give you 12 guys. Tell us the 12 guys you want. Well, think about it. Now, when I think about cruiserweights, uh, when it comes to professional wrestling, I think about like the, the, the Japanese high flyers, and I think about the, the luchadors, like the Mexican high flyers, and even North American style, like high impact, high flying, like very, you know, a lot of spots type wrestling. But then, if I was at EWO, I would take that for the cruiserweight division, but then I would also add in the light heavyweight division. Uh, like a North American style light heavyweight division, and add in the British, the UK uh, style of light heavyweight division, and even you know other parts of Europe too. That's fine, but it it would be like a light heavyweight style, not a, a like a, a high flying like the Jap like some of the Japanese guys like Shima, or uh, or, or the Mexican guys. Uh, who do a lot of high flying, a lot of dives, a lot of hurricane runners, you know what I mean? Um, that would be half of it, but the other half would be the lightweight style. I think that's what AEW should do. And if I had to give a list of the 12 guys that I would pick that are currently in AEW to create the cruiserweight division, which would be a mix of the high flying style and the lightweight style, I would pick, and this is in the comments below, I would pick Joey Janela, Darby Allen, Kip Sabian, Jungle Boy, Jimmy Havoc, Shima, Ortiz, Santana, Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, Sean Spears, and Blade. Now, somebody is going to say to me, Matt and Nick Jackson, how do you figure that they're like heavyweight? I mean, come on, look at them. I mean, when you think about a cruiserweight division... That would be high-flying and light heavyweight mixed together. Okay, fine. That would be great. Some of the wrestlers would have both styles, you know, uh, incorporated into their offense. Other guys would be just one or the other, but they'd be really good in that, right? So when you think about a division like that, you think about Matt and Nick Jackson. Okay, well, then let's think about some of the other names that's on the list, like, um, like, like Kip Sabian. If somebody said to me, have a cruiserweight division, high-flying, light heavyweight, do you think Sean, uh, Kip Sabian and Sean Spears could be in that? I'd be like, oh yeah, man, I could see Sean Spears being like the cruiserweight champion. Or, yeah, I could see Kip Sabian being like the cruiserweight champion. I mean, it's another belt, but it's also its own style and division, right? It's not just like another heavyweight belt that everyone could go for. I would definitely think that uh, Kip Sabian or Sean Spears could go for that belt. They're definitely like in that portion of the AEW roster. Like those guys are definitely not the main card guys, but they're definitely the other singles uh, portion. And I think Matt and Nick Jackson would definitely fit way better in the cruiserweight division than a heavyweight division. Definitely I would have those 12 guys. And I think the best way to have it would be like I, I think, like, have a pay-per-view event. You know what I mean? I would think have a pay-per-view event. Uh, I know uh, AEW owns Super Brawl. Take Super Brawl. Make it for, like, it, it would be like a streaming special. And it would be for 
the second TV show that the AEW is looking at putting up. Uh, I know that uh, the the TNT executives are talking about taking Dark, moving it to cable, building it up to be its own show. Now, whether that's going to be an hour or two hours, I think it should be two hours. But whether they do that or not, we were still remains to be seen, even though they said they would. Um, but if they did that, if they have another show, they're going to have to have a belt. They're going to have to have another belt, which is good because... I mean, AEW's only got two singles belts right now. The women's heavyweight and the men's heavyweight. That's it. Like, you need a second belt. But don't just make it, like, Intercontinental or something, which anybody could go for. It's like another heavyweight. Who cares? Make it like a cruiserweight division, high-flying late heavyweight. And, uh, you know what I mean? It would be for those, the, the other uh, portion of the AEW singles roster. It would be for the mid-card guys. It, it, it essentially would be a mid-card title, like a title that you get, and you work on your promos, you work on your talking, you work on your character, you work on your offense. It's like, it's all its own division, its own styles, with, like, distinguishing itself from the heavyweight division, but it would also be, like, a belt that's proving yourself. And that would be on the second show, right? To me, that would make the most sense. Like, people are on that show. That's where the new talent is. You get to see the new talent. They work their way up through it. They win the belt on that show, and then the, which is Cruiserweight belt. And then eventually they can decide to go over to, like, Dynamite and go for the heavyweight belt, right? Um, it could be that, or it could be a belt that's on both. I don't know. But anyway, they should make a Cruiserweight division. It should be that makeup of it, late heavyweight and uh, high flying. I think those are the 12 guys that should be on it, which is Joy Janela, Darby Allen, Kip Sabian, Jungle Boy, Jimmy Havoc, Shima, Ortiz, Santana, Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, Sean Spears, and Blade. Those guys would be the late heavyweight. And the luchadors, like the high flyers, they'd be put together in the cruiserweight division, have its own belt, have a tournament. Um... <laughs> And I think I would have three rounds. The first round would be six matches. And then the second round would be three matches. And then the finals would be a triple threat elimination match. Right? And then the winner wins the belt. And I think that would be ten matches in total. Six, three, yeah, that'd be ten matches in total. You could have that on a pay-per-view. There have been AEW pay-per-views where there was like nine matches, including the pre-show. But um, I think that'd be a great, like have a streaming special, have 10 matches on it. And at the end of that night, you have the very first AEW Cruiserweight Champion. Or you could take the tournament and spread it out over the first few episodes of AEW's second show. And then... Uh, have it set up so a really good episode like last episode before a pay-per-view or something or um, a really important big city like Atlanta or or if they ever go to LA or anything like that um, they could have the Cruiserweight Championship like that's going to be the episode where somebody wins it right so you could set it up over a few episodes the tournament and then have the belt being awarded a really high climax episode of Dynamite, right? Or you could have the go to the pay per view route. I like the pay per view idea, but also spreading it over TV is it's good too. It's almost I think that would be almost better. But AEW should have a cruiserweight division. I really think they should have a cruiserweight division. I think those guys should be the guys who go for it. I think it would be the belt on the other show, uh, on the. Uh, the second TV show that AEW looks at having, and that would be the belt that, like, known guys, Matt and Nick Jackson, they're very well known. I mean, they would be in that division. I mean, they wouldn't be, like, on that show, and that's that show's roster, and, like, WWE is. No. I mean, guys can go back and forth and stuff to a degree, right? But that show would have the cruiserweight belt, but it would also be an hour or two hours. And, um... Because it would give that show something to focus on. It would give that people something to tune into that show. Like, to see those wrestlers and to see those matches. And have a belt, you know, that is also its own division and its own style. It's very well structured. It's like, yeah, AEW's cruiserweight belt. Yeah, no, the wrestling for that and the guys for that, it's different than heavyweight belt. It's actually pretty cool. You know what I mean? But don't just have, like, an hour show for it, like 205 Live. No, have, like, a two-hour show and it's... 
one of the belt sets in AEW that people go for. I mean, you might want to have it on that show primarily. It might also appear on a Dynamite episode of Could. But either way, wherever you put it, they do need a cruiserweight belt. Definitely. But anyway, those are my 12 guys. Who would be your 12 guys? If AEW came to you and said, make a cruiserweight division, it's going to be like high-flying and light heavyweight styles like mixed together in its own division with its own belt. Who are the 12 guys that you would pick? <laughs> 